Have you ever stopped to consider the true measure of your worth? In a world constantly bombarding us with external validations and societal expectations, it's easy to overlook the intrinsic value we hold within ourselves. Imagine, for a moment, that the most powerful tool for a meaningful, fulfilled life isn't something you can buy, earn, or be given by others. It's already within you, waiting to be discovered and harnessed. This isn't just a thought experiment. It's a reality grounded in the wisdom of Stoicism. Stoicism, a philosophy that has guided countless individuals through the ages toward living with purpose, resilience, and tranquility, teaches us that the key to a life well lived isn't found in external accolades or material success. Instead, it lies in mastering the art of valuing ourselves through the virtues of wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. In this exploration, we'll peel back the layers of societal expectations and self-doubt to uncover the timeless stoic principles that can transform the way we see ourselves and our place in the world. This journey goes beyond mere self-improvement. It's about rediscovering our inherent worth and learning to live in alignment with our deepest values. So, if you're ready to unlock the doors to personal freedom, resilience and fulfillment, you're in the right place. Let's embark on this adventure together, exploring how the wisdom of Stoicism can illuminate the path to valuing ourselves like never before. But remember, the only thing I ask of you is not to skip the video, for you never can tell which point will resonate with you the most. Let's dive in. Sign Zero Ni. Settling for less than what you rightfully deserve. Sometimes, without even realizing it, we find ourselves settling for less than what we truly deserve. It's a universal experience. Maybe we stay in a job that drains us, linger in relationships that don't bring out the best in us, or shelve our dreams out of fear or uncertainty. We justify it to ourselves, convincing ourselves that this is as good as it gets. But why do we do this? Is it fear holding us back? Or perhaps it's the comfort of familiarity that keeps us stuck? Stoicism, an ancient philosophy, offers a different perspective. It teaches us that our true worth, our essence, isn't determined by external circumstances. Whether we find ourselves in a palace or a prison, what truly defines us is how we respond to our situation. It's about realizing that while we might not have control over everything that happens to us, we have ultimate power over how we perceive, judge, and act upon those circumstances. Consider this. When we settle for less than we deserve, aren't we essentially giving away our power to external forces? Stoicism challenges us to question this mindset. It prompts us to ask ourselves whether our current situation aligns with our values and if our response reflects our true worth. And if the answer is no, Stoicism doesn't leave us feeling defeated. Instead, it empowers us to take control. Stoicism reminds us that we have the power to change our perception and choose our response, thereby transforming our reality. So, the next time you catch yourself settling for less, remember this ancient wisdom. Remind yourself that your worth isn't tied to your job title, relationship status or bank account balance. Your true worth lies in your ability to remain faithful to your values, to act with courage, wisdom and integrity, regardless of the circumstances. This isn't about blaming ourselves for our current situations. It's about recognizing the control we do have and using it to steer our lives in the direction we desire. Let's not settle for less, not out of entitlement or arrogance, but out of a deep understanding of our inherent worth. Let's face life's challenges with strength and resilience, knowing who we are and what we stand for. In doing so, we're not merely surviving, we're thriving, living out the essence of Stoic philosophy. Sign 2. Downplaying your accomplishments or successes. 
Downplaying our accomplishments or successes is something many of us tend to do. We might think it's humble or modest, but in reality, it's not always the healthiest mindset. Stoicism, with its deep insights into human behavior, doesn't tell us to brag or inflate our egos, but it does urge us to acknowledge our efforts and virtues honestly and fairly. Why is this important? Well, recognizing our achievements isn't just about boosting our pride. It's about giving credit where credit is due. It's about honoring the hard work, discipline, and perseverance it took to reach our goals. Let's break it down a bit. In Stoicism, virtues like wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance are key. When we achieve something, big or small, it's often because we've exercised these virtues. Maybe it took courage to apply for that job, wisdom to tackle the challenges, or discipline to tidy up that closet. When we attribute our success to luck, or brush it off as no big deal, we're not only undermining the outcome, but also the virtues we embodied along the way. So how do we shift this mindset? How do we acknowledge our achievements without coming off as arrogant? The Stoic approach is all about balance and honesty. It's about saying, yes, I worked hard for this. Yes, I faced challenges and overcame them. And yes, this achievement reflects my effort and virtues. It's about giving ourselves credit where it's due, not to stroke our egos, but to acknowledge the truth. Take a moment to think about something you've achieved recently. It could be anything, big or small. Now, reflect on the virtues you practiced to make it happen. Maybe you displayed incredible discipline, took a brave step out of your comfort zone, or used your wisdom to find a solution. This exercise isn't about seeking praise. It's about recognizing the truth of your own character and effort. Embracing this stoic practice can change the way we perceive our successes and ourselves. It helps us move away from false modesty and towards a genuine appreciation of our strengths and capabilities. It reminds us that acknowledging our achievements isn't about feeding our ego. It's about honoring the virtues we've embodied and the hard work we've put in. Sign 3. Putting the needs of others before your own. Putting the needs of others before our own is a scenario many of us find ourselves in quite often, isn't it? Whether it's staying late at work to lend a hand to a colleague, skipping our morning exercise routine to whip up breakfast for our family, or putting our own aspirations on hold to support someone else's dreams, it feels noble, selfless, and maybe even heroic at times. But here's the catch. Constantly prioritizing others at the expense of our own well-being can lead to burnout, resentment, and a loss of self. It's like trying to pour from an empty pitcher. Eventually, we run dry. Stoicism isn't about detachment or selfishness. In fact, it places great emphasis on virtue and the betterment of society. However, it also teaches us the critical importance of self-care. Why? Because caring for ourselves isn't selfish. It's the foundation of being able to care for others effectively. Stoicism reminds us that to be of service to others, we must first ensure that we are in a good place ourselves physically, mentally and spiritually. Let's delve into this a bit. Stoicism teaches us about the dichotomy of control, understanding what is within our control and what isn't. Our own thoughts, beliefs, actions and, yes, self-care are within our control. The well-being of others, as much as we may wish otherwise, isn't directly under our control. However, what we can control is how well equipped we are to offer help, support and love to those around us. And that starts with taking care of ourselves. Consider this. When you're well rested, healthy and at peace, how much more patient, understanding and present are you for the people in your life? How much more effectively can you contribute to their well-being? This isn't just about physical health. It's about mental and emotional resilience. It's about having the inner resources to be compassionate, to offer wise counsel, and to be a source of stability and strength for others.
So how do we strike this balance? How do we ensure we're not neglecting our own needs in the process of helping others? It starts with recognizing that self-care isn't a luxury or an afterthought. It's a necessity. It means making time for things that replenish us, whether that's exercise, meditation, reading, or simply spending a few quiet moments alone. It means setting boundaries and being okay with saying no when we need to. It means doing these things not out of self-indulgence, but out of a commitment to being our best selves for the people we care about. I want to challenge you to think about one way you can prioritize your own well-being this week. Maybe it's committing to a daily walk, carving out time for a hobby you love, or setting boundaries around your work hours. Whatever it is, remember that this act of self-care isn't just for you. It's a way of ensuring that when you do show up for others, you're showing up as the best version of yourself. Sign 4. Finding it difficult to acknowledge or embrace compliments given to you. Finding it hard to accept compliments is something many of us struggle with, isn't it? It's like we have this inner voice that discounts the praise we receive, making us feel uncomfortable or unworthy. But Stoicism, with its practical wisdom, offers a different perspective. Stoicism teaches us about the importance of viewing ourselves objectively. That means recognizing and acknowledging our strengths just as openly as we acknowledge our areas for improvement. It's about understanding our value, not in an egotistical way, but in a balanced and fair manner. So why is it such a challenge to accept compliments gracefully? Well, often it's because we're looking at ourselves through a distorted lens. Maybe we're too focused on our imperfections, or perhaps we've been conditioned to believe that acknowledging our strengths somehow makes us arrogant. But here's the stoic insight. Humility isn't about denying our strengths. It's about recognizing them in a grounded and realistic way. It's about seeing ourselves as we truly are, without the embellishments of ego or the shadows of insecurity. Stoicism reminds us that our worth isn't diminished by acknowledging our achievements and strengths. In fact, accepting compliments graciously is a way to practice self-awareness and objectivity. It allows us to recognize the virtues we possess and the efforts we've made, giving us a clearer understanding of our true selves. When someone compliments us, they're often acknowledging something genuine in us, something worth praising. Brushing aside these moments robs us of the chance to see ourselves through another's eyes, to understand our impact on the world around us. So, how do we become better at accepting compliments? It starts with adjusting our mindset. When someone offers you praise, try to see it as a mirror reflecting your virtues and efforts. Instead of deflecting, take a moment to consider the truth in their words. You can practice by simply saying thank you. No minimization, no deflection, just gratitude for the recognition of your efforts and qualities. Moreover, Stoicism encourages us to use these moments as opportunities for reflection. Ask yourself, what did I do to earn this praise? How does it reflect my virtues and efforts? This isn't about inflating your ego. It's about understanding and acknowledging the part of you that's capable of excellence and impact. Sign 5. Avoiding taking on the responsibility of making decisions. Have you ever found yourself facing a decision, seemingly straightforward yet unable to move forward? That hesitation, that fear of making the wrong choice, it's more than just indecision. It's a reflection of a deeper issue, a lack of trust in ourselves. It's like standing on the edge of a diving board, peering into the pool below, knowing we need to jump but feeling paralyzed. Stoicism offers a guiding light in this fog of indecision. It teaches us that wise decision-making isn't about guaranteeing outcomes, but about basing our choices on wisdom and reason. Stoicism reminds us that while we can't control the results of our decisions, we have complete control over the process of making them. It's about aligning our choices with our values 
acting with integrity and accepting the outcomes, whatever they may be, as part of life's natural flow. So why do we fear making decisions? Often, it's because we're afraid of making the wrong choice, leading to outcomes we perceive as failures or mistakes. However, Stoicism invites us to rethink our understanding of mistakes and failures. In the Stoic view, every outcome is an opportunity for learning and growth. There are no failures, only lessons. This perspective encourages us to trust ourselves to make decisions with courage and confidence, knowing that whatever the result, it will contribute to our development and understanding. But how do we cultivate this self-trust? How do we strengthen our decision-making abilities? It starts with embracing wisdom and reason. Before making a decision, take a moment to reflect. Ask yourself, does this choice align with my values? Am I acting with integrity? By grounding your decisions in your core values and reason, you ensure that regardless of the outcome, your choice was made with the best intentions and understanding you had at the moment. Stoicism teaches us the importance of accepting and learning from the outcomes of our decisions. Every result, whether it's what we hoped for or not, holds valuable insights. It's an invitation to reflect, to understand what worked and what didn't, and how we can apply these lessons moving forward. This process of reflection and learning fosters self-trust. It reassures us that we are capable of navigating the uncertain waters of life making decisions that reflect our values and growing from every experience. Sign 6. Subjecting oneself to excessive criticism or harsh self-evaluation. Subjecting ourselves to excessive criticism or harsh self-evaluation is something many of us are familiar with, isn't it? It's like we have this inner critic that never seems to quiet down, constantly pointing out our flaws and shortcomings. But Stoicism offers us a way out of this cycle. Stoicism teaches us the art of discernment, particularly about where we direct our mental energy. It tells us that obsessing over our flaws and failures, beating ourselves up for every perceived misstep, is like trying to sail a ship while ignoring the wind and tides we're focusing on the wrong things. Stoic wisdom implores us to Recognize that perfection is an illusion, an unattainable mirage. Instead, the goal is progress, continuous and deliberate steps towards becoming better versions of ourselves. So why do we fall into the trap of excessive self-criticism? Often, it's because we're measuring ourselves against impossible standards, ones that we wouldn't dream of holding anyone else to. We forget that being human inherently means being flawed, making mistakes, and most importantly, having the capacity to learn and grow from them. Stoicism offers a powerful antidote to this self-imposed tyranny. The practice of self-compassion and the pursuit of progress over perfection. Self-compassion, from a Stoic viewpoint, isn't about coddling ourselves or making excuses for our shortcomings. It's about treating ourselves with the same kindness, understanding, and forgiveness that we would offer to a good friend. It's recognizing that setbacks are not indictments of our character, but part of the human experience. When we stumble, the stoic response isn't to berate ourselves, but to ask, what can I learn from this? How can I grow? Embracing this mindset requires a shift in how we perceive our journey. Every effort, every attempt, even those that don't yield the results we hoped for, is a step forward. Progress, not perfection, becomes our mantra. This doesn't mean we become complacent or indifferent to improvement. On the contrary, it means we pursue growth more fervently, but with the wisdom to know that growth is often non-linear fraught with challenges, and beautifully imperfect. Sign 7. Consistently comparing oneself to others. Why is it that we often find ourselves caught up in the comparison game? Well, part of it is just human nature. 
we naturally tend to measure our own worth and accomplishments against those of the people around us. But in today's world, especially with the rise of social media, this tendency is dialed up to an unprecedented level. We're bombarded with carefully curated snapshots of other people's lives, showcasing only their best moments, leaving us to question the value and significance of our own experiences. Enter Stoicism, offering a powerful remedy to this comparison trap, the cultivation of self-awareness and gratitude for our own journey. It encourages us to turn our focus inward, to concentrate on our personal growth, virtues, and the progress we've made. Stoicism doesn't advocate for shutting out the world or ignoring others, but rather suggests that we seek inspiration rather than comparison. It teaches us to admire the virtues and successes of others without diminishing our own value or progress. So, how can we apply Stoic principles to combat the comparison trap? Firstly, by practicing mindfulness. It's about catching ourselves when we start comparing our behind-the-scenes to someone else's highlight reel. Reminding ourselves that social media is a curated gallery, not an accurate reflection of everyday life, can help put things into perspective. Secondly, Stoicism teaches us the value of focusing on what's within our control, our efforts, attitudes, and virtues. These are the seeds from which our unique journey grows. By nurturing these seeds, we cultivate a garden rich with personal significance, independent of external validation or comparison. Lastly, gratitude plays a pivotal role. By fostering gratitude for our own experiences, challenges and achievements, we anchor ourselves in the present and appreciate the richness of our own lives, this doesn't mean we become complacent, rather it empowers us to strive for improvement and growth from a place of contentment, not inadequacy. Sign 8. Lack of personal investment. Have you ever found yourself delaying that course you've been wanting to take, putting off starting that hobby you've been curious about, or neglecting your self-care routine? It's something many of us can relate to, but it's not just about lacking the time or resources. At its core, it often stems from a failure to recognize our own value. It's like we're telling ourselves, I'm not worth the effort. But here's the thing. Stoicism, with its profound insights into human nature and ethics, challenges us to see self-improvement not just as an activity, but as a form of self-respect. Stoicism teaches us that our capacity for reason and virtue sets us apart, and we find true fulfillment through nurturing these qualities. Seneca, a Stoic philosopher, likened life to a garden. Just as a garden requires constant tending to flourish, so too does our inner world require attention and care. Neglecting our personal growth is akin to neglecting a garden, Without investment, both will fail to thrive. So why do we often hesitate to invest in ourselves? Sometimes it's because we're trapped in the allure of immediate gratification, choosing fleeting pleasures over long-term fulfillment. Other times it's due to deeper issues like a lack of self-esteem or the belief that we're not worth the effort. However, Stoicism offers a different perspective. It asserts that every individual possesses inherent worth and potential for virtue. Investing in our growth, whether through learning new skills, exploring hobbies, or practicing self-care, is a way of recognizing and honoring that worth. So, how do we start making that investment in ourselves in line with Stoic philosophy? It begins with shifting our mindset. We need to see self-improvement as an essential, non-negotiable aspect of our lives. This doesn't mean completely overhauling our lives overnight. Instead, it's about making small, consistent investments in ourselves. It could be as simple as reading a book on a topic that fascinates us, dedicating a few minutes each day to meditation, or pursuing a hobby that brings us joy. Moreover, Stoicism teaches us about the importance of reflection and self-examination. 
This practice allows us to understand our strengths and areas for growth, guiding our personal investment efforts. By regularly taking stock of our lives, setting goals and reflecting on our progress, we foster a sense of purpose and direction. This process of self-reflection and goal-setting isn't just about achieving external markers of success. It's about aligning our actions with our values, cultivating our virtues, and living a life of purpose and meaning. Another key aspect is embracing the concept of lifelong learning. The Stoics believed that wisdom was not a destination but a journey, Adopting a mindset of curiosity and openness to new experiences can transform the way we view personal investment. It becomes an adventure, an opportunity to explore the vast landscapes of knowledge and experience that life has to offer. Sign 9. Seeking approval or recognition from outside sources. True validation comes from within, from living in alignment with our values and principles. The Stoics, such as Marcus Aurelius, believed that the only things truly within our control are our own actions, intentions and responses. It's not the opinions of others that disturb us, but our own judgments about those opinions. So why do we often find ourselves seeking external validation? At its core, it's often rooted in insecurity, and a deep-seated fear of not being enough. In a world that bombards us with messages about what we should be, do or have, it's easy to lose sight of our own path. However, Stoicism invites us to redirect our gaze inward, to focus on cultivating our character and living a life of virtue. It teaches us that true peace and fulfillment come not from the fleeting approval of others, but from knowing we've lived true to ourselves. So, how can we break free from the chains of external validation? The first step is self-awareness. By becoming mindful of our tendencies to seek approval, we can start to question the motives behind our actions. Are we pursuing a goal because it aligns with our values or because we're seeking applause? Stoicism teaches us to engage in regular self-reflection, to examine our intentions and ensure they're rooted in our own values and principles. Another Stoic practice that can help us combat the need for external validation is the development of self-sufficiency. This doesn't mean isolating ourselves or becoming indifferent to others. Rather, it's about finding contentment and fulfillment within ourselves. Epictetus, another Stoic philosopher, emphasized the importance of focusing on what's within our control and letting go of what isn't. By cultivating inner contentment, we become less reliant on external sources of validation. Stoicism also encourages us to redefine our concept of success. Instead of measuring success by external accolades or achievements, Stoicism teaches us to measure it by our ability to live according to our values. Success, from a Stoic perspective, is about the pursuit of virtue, the practice of reason, and the cultivation of resilience in the face of life's challenges. Sign 10. Enduring or tolerating negative environments or situations. Finding yourself in a challenging situation can be like wandering through a dense forest. The air feels heavy, the path is unclear, and every step seems like a struggle. Whether it's dealing with a toxic workplace that drains your spirit, or being stuck in personal relationships that leave you feeling undervalued, the decision to stay often stems from a deep-seated belief that you don't deserve better. But this is where stoicism serves as both a mirror and a map. The Stoics believed that our environment significantly influences our ability to live virtuously and find contentment. However, they also emphasized our responsibility in shaping our surroundings and choosing our associations wisely. As Marcus Aurelius reminds us, our inner peace is not determined by external circumstances, but by our responses to them. So why do we tolerate negative environments? 
Often it's because we underestimate our capacity for change. We might fear the unknown, cling to the familiar, or doubt our worth. Stoicism challenges these fears and doubts by encouraging us to recognize our inherent value and the power we possess over our choices and attitudes. It urges us to question the belief that we are trapped and to realize that, more often than not, we have the agency to change our circumstances or our perception of them. Stoicism equips us with tools to navigate and transform our environments. One key practice is the cultivation of inner resilience and autonomy. This doesn't mean adopting a stance of indifference or detachment. Rather, it's about strengthening our inner citadel, as Marcus Aurelius calls it, so that we can remain steady and true to our values, even in the midst of chaos and negativity. By fostering a strong inner core, we become less susceptible to the toxicity of our surroundings and more capable of making choices that align with our well-being. Another Stoic principle that can guide us is the idea of living according to nature, which includes seeking harmony within ourselves and our environments. This means actively seeking out or creating environments that are conducive to our growth, health and happiness. It's about recognizing that we are deserving of respect, kindness and positive interactions and making the conscious decision to not settle for less. In practical terms, seeking environments that nurture our growth might involve setting boundaries in personal relationships, seeking new opportunities in our careers, or even changing our social circles to include more supportive and positive influences. It also means investing time and energy into cultivating a personal environment through practices like meditation, journaling, or engaging in hobbies that support our mental and emotional well-being. Sign 11. Experiencing fear or hesitation when it comes to pursuing one's dreams or ambitions. Why does fear have such a tight grip on us when it comes to pursuing our dreams? Often, it's because we're acutely aware of what we stand to lose. Our minds conjure up vivid images of failure, of wasting time and effort, of facing judgment from others. But Stoicism offers a different perspective on fear. Stoicism acknowledges these fears but invites us to ask ourselves, what do we stand to gain? It encourages us to weigh our fears against the potential for growth, fulfillment and the realization of our dreams. Stoicism teaches us that the pursuit of virtue, of excellence in line with our nature, is in itself a worthy endeavor, regardless of the outcome. One Stoic practice that can help us overcome the fear of pursuing our dreams is the premeditation of evils, or what's known today as negative visualization. This involves contemplating the worst-case scenarios, not to dwell on them, but to diminish their power over us. By considering the potential hardships and accepting that we can endure them, we often find that our fears are less daunting than we imagined. This doesn't mean we become reckless or heedless of risks, but rather that we approach our dreams with a balanced perspective, recognizing that failure, while possible, is not the end, but a step in our journey of growth. Another stoic principle that can embolden us to chase our dreams is the concept of amor fati, or the love of fate. This is the idea of embracing whatever life throws our way, not just with resignation, but with enthusiasm. When we pursue our dreams guided by amor fati, we open ourselves up to the full spectrum of experiences, successes, failures, joys and disappointments, all of which are integral to the human experience. This acceptance frees us from the paralyzing grip of fear and allows us to move forward with courage and determination. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of acting in accordance with our own virtues and potential. It reminds us that external achievements do not measure our true worth, but by our commitment to living virtuously, to striving towards our goals with integrity, diligence and courage. 
In this light, the fear of pursuing our dreams is not just a barrier to success, it's a barrier to living a life that's truly ours. Sign 12. Failure to recognize your own worth. Why is it that we so often forget this fundamental stoic lesson? Part of the reason lies in our natural desire for connection and validation, which, when unchecked, can lead us to seek our worth in the reflection of others' opinions or in the milestones of success we achieve. However, Stoicism teaches us that true worth comes from within, from living in accordance with our nature and virtues. Epictetus eloquently stated that freedom is not secured by fulfilling our heart's desire, but by removing our desire. This principle applies profoundly to how we perceive our worth. True freedom and contentment come not from external validation, but from recognizing and embracing our intrinsic value. Stoicism encourages us to shift our focus from external achievements to the cultivation of our character. It teaches us that our worth is measured not by the titles we hold, the wealth we amass, or the approval we garner, but by our commitment to live virtuously, to act with integrity, kindness and courage regardless of our circumstances. This isn't to say that achievements and recognition don't matter, but rather that they are not the source of our worth. Our worth is innate, as immutable as the stars in the night sky, and recognizing this frees us from the relentless pursuit of external validation. How can we cultivate this stoic understanding of our inherent worth? It begins with self-reflection, with turning our gaze inward to acknowledge and appreciate our virtues, efforts and resilience. It involves practicing gratitude for our abilities, our character and our potential, recognizing that these internal qualities are the true measures of our worth. It also means learning to detach our sense of value from the fluctuating opinions of others and the transient nature of achievements. This detachment isn't about indifference, it's about perspective, about understanding what truly matters in the grand scheme of our lives. Sign 13. Feeling as though you don't deserve to experience happiness. Feeling unworthy of happiness is a common struggle that many of us face, and it can stem from various sources, such as past traumas, societal conditioning, or personal failures. We often find ourselves comparing our journey to others, only seeing the highlight reels of their lives, while being keenly aware of the behind-the-scenes struggles of our own. This comparison, fueled by the misconception that happiness is a limited resource reserved only for the deserving, leads us to doubt our own worthiness. Stoicism offers us a powerful antidote to these misconceptions. It encourages us to dismantle these beliefs and recognize that happiness is not a reward, but a way of living. Stoicism invites us to reflect on our values, align our actions with these values, and find joy in the pursuit of virtue and the practice of reason. By focusing on what is within our control, our thoughts, actions and reactions, and letting go of what isn't, Stoicism empowers us to take charge of our own happiness. Embracing this Stoic approach to happiness begins with changing our narrative about worthiness. We must challenge the belief that happiness is conditional on achievements, external validation, or perfection. Instead, we should view happiness as inherent in the practice of living virtuously, making the best choices available to us and appreciating the present moment. Stoicism also teaches us the importance of gratitude. By practicing gratitude, we shift our focus from what we lack to what we have, from perceived inadequacies to the abundance present in our lives. Furthermore, Stoicism reminds us of the significance of community and support in our pursuit of happiness. Happiness is not a solitary journey. By fostering meaningful relationships and supporting and being supported by others, we collectively affirm our worthiness of happiness. 
Through the wisdom of Stoicism, let us embrace the understanding that our lives are canvases upon which we have the power to paint with the vibrant colors of virtue, resilience, and happiness. Remember, you are the architect of your own destiny, the sculptor of your own happiness. Though the path may be challenging, it is also filled with opportunities for growth, joy, and fulfillment. You deserve happiness, are capable of achieving your dreams, and are worthy of every bit of love and success that comes your way. We greatly appreciate your support. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay connected. Keep pursuing wisdom, and let's progress together. Stay safe. Stay stoic.